Hi, my name is Steve Griffin, and I have a room here at the uh, Montross Art Center. I have a studio at home that I do most of my work in, but I have samples, basically samples of, of many different directions I've been painting in for several years. I retired from teaching at the University of Mary Washington in 2008, so I've just been in my studio pretty much working full time. And these are just samples of things I've been working on. And we can start over here, which is actually a self-portrait. And you kind of have to stand back a bit to see um, the image in it. But I use these old paper player piano rolls to squeegee paint through. So, so um, I don't paint all these by hand or these small lines. Uh, I, I use these a lot on a series of paintings I did with just squares and more abstracted, but I tr thought I would try to do something with an image, and that's what I ended up with, and it's, it was very complicated the way I had to work on it, and I've only done one, <laughs> so I think that's probably the only one that would be. <laughs> um, this is done with a stencil I cut, or several stencils, and um, again, squeegee paint through it, kind of like I did with the piano roll, and um, many layers, do some sanding and scraping on it. Uh, this is a series I did uh, about four or five years ago. I started this. They're, they're just silhouettes. And this one is, this is how art predicts the future, I think. This was before the pandemic. And I have a, a uh, this is called Still Life of Hammer and Hand Sanitizer. So. Uh, I like the shape of that bottle, but uh, I didn't know we were going to have to all buy some <laughs> very soon after that. Um, here's, here's an example again of the, of the piano roll um, technique. And again, it's sanded and scraped a bit so I get many layers. Uh, the Strata series of paintings I've been doing off and on for years, and these are the things that, that have sold the most and been shown the most. And, um, gotten some awards from the Virginia Museum of Art and things. So, and, um, I still work on these, but I, back and forth. But I, I can't stick with one particular idea for too long. This is a total experiment. I've done a few of the drip paintings. Everybody's got to do a drip painting now and then. Um, which came out. I did a few drip paintings, and this one actually worked. And here are a couple smaller versions of, of the strata paintings. These are again scraped, sanded, put, I use tape, and I use a lot of uh, tools that are meant for, I guess you put adhesive on the floor for tiles and things because they have teeth on them. So, I, so they're different sizes and I break some of the teeth off so it's not all very regular. This, this um, I, is done by my brother. Um, he lived in New York, he died in 2005. And he was an artist and he did a lot of things on his computer and he had a big printer, so this was all done on computer and then printed and mounted on canvas, and then he put this um, resin over the top of it. Uh, so are all these pieces that are hanging here, um, Steve, available for purchase if yes, somebody yeah. comes in? Yes, okay, yes. good. All right, great. Well, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. All righty.